Hey cosplayers, woohoo! Another FOMO awesome cosplay quick tip clip for you. In this video, we're gonna talk about a really cool monster skin effect that you can get using FOMO. All right, now this trick wasn't something I came up with. It was uh, fortunately uh, given to me by somebody after I had just done a demonstration at Salt Lake City Comic Con, or FanX now. Uh, they came up and said, hey, I came up with this really cool, or found this really cool thing that you can do with FOMO, and I was like, Sweet, thank you. So I'm gonna share that with you guys today and give your thanks to that person that told me about this in the comments below. All right, with that, let's jump in. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell notification, and let's jump in. So I've got this little um, piece of FOMO I just kind of pressed out, did a little disc domed shape here. We're gonna just say that this is like a monster like scale or boil or something, right? That's just so we can get this monster skin effect. All right, now I did this about 10 or 15 minutes ago, um, and then just kind of let it sit on the table so that the, um, for about 10 or 15 minutes, so that the surface is uh, starting to kind of dry, uh, and but all the underneath is still setting up, right? So you want to give it that uh, time, just about 10 to 15 minutes of letting that surface dry, and then you're going to come in with the heat gun on high, and start to uh, just move that around here on the, the FOMO. It's gonna take just a second, but what's happening is the heat is either starting to cause uh, air bubbles that might be inside there to expand or creating air bubbles inside of it. And you'll start to see them surface. You don't wanna hold it in one place too long once you start seeing those pop up, just kind of spread this around. You can hit some areas a little bit longer to get those to kind of really pop up. And there you have it, a sweep monster skin effect just from simply throwing the heat gun on it then go ahead and let that uh, completely uh, set and dry overnight um, to get the rest of it to dry out and to have that like keep its shape there um, you may want to keep an eye on this if these bubbles start to kind of uh, dissipate and sink in you may want to just give it a quick little pass again with the heat while it's still setting up but other than that you've uh it, it's just it's so cool because it gives this completely like randomized pattern of bubbles and everything like that that you wouldn't be able to recreate if you were just trying to you know dremel something out or create that uh kind of um skin look monster skin look on your own so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like give a shout out to that person i wish i knew their name that told me about this effect at uh comic-con and uh yeah share it with a friend that you know would help out and let us know what your greatest challenge is when it comes to cosplaying or working with EVA foam or FOMO, and we'll answer your question in a future video. Thank you guys so much. Cosplay on, my friends.